Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your June reading. I'm sorry I'm late. I know, know you guys have been super, super patient with me. I'm going to see what's going on generally with you first and then we're going to go into your love life, okay? Sagittarius, I'm going to check out your money first. Okay, what's going on for Sagittarius in terms of money, please? Angels and spirit. How can they maximize their prosperity and success and abundance for the rest of June, please? Angels and spirit. What can Sagittarius do to maximize their success? Okay, Sagittarius, you've got obstacles and blocks are being lifted, savings, deservingness, an abundant mindset, okay? Um, so I do feel like your money is on the up because we have obstacles, obstacles and blocks are being lifted and we have a windfall coming, possibly towards the end of June um, and early July because that card came out at the end. I want you to still work on your savings, okay? Sorry about the blurriness, guys. Work on your savings. That's really, really important, okay? So consistently save for your future. And as you do so, your future is saved. Um, just consistently set aside present funds for a, a rainy day, okay? This is part of your self-care and path to feeling secure. Um, you are deserving of, of whatever windfall is coming your way, so just be open to receiving, okay? Um, even if you can't recognize your lovable qualities, trust that the universe can see how amazing you truly are. So stay in a, in a mindset of abundance and a mindset of I, I do deserve this success, okay? So that's your money for the month of June. Let's see what the Moonology cards are going to say about what is coming up for you generally. What's coming up for Sagittarius in June, please? So I am getting a sore left ear. I don't know if um, you're going to have some problems with your hearing or your ears this month or if this is just for a select few of you, okay? I would love to know in the comments who I'm tuning into, if anyone. Um, okay, so you're waiting on some information, on some communication, and Spirit wants you to know that the answers you need are coming in June, okay? But you might be missing some of the finer details. Or sorry, you might be missing the bigger picture because you're too focused on the finer details. You might be too enmeshed in a certain situation because you've got look at the bigger picture. This is also, while you wait on this information that's on its way, um, I want you to kind of go about doing other things, okay? Um, because you can't rush this outcome you can't rush this decision you can't rush this news so you may as well go and devote your time and energy on other things um, and that's going to allow you to look at the bigger picture instead of you know um, looking at the watch or the clock and and it's just going to make you feel anxious okay so look at the bigger picture there is a sense of you healing from something whether that is illness whether that is emotional, something emotional happened in the recent past that you're healing from, okay? Um, let's see what else we have for you generally. I'm gonna do this deck here and the animal oracles. Angels and spirit, can we have some direct guidance, direct messages? Clear messages for Sagittarius, please, for the month of June 2019. What do they need to know? What do 
they need to know? All right, so you have hold the space. Okay, so you are, there's a sense of you're waiting on something. News. Um, and you just need to breathe while you wait. That's this, this card here, hold the space. Listen, watch, observe, and wait, okay? You're not alone. So this is spirit saying whatever emotional healing you're going through at the moment, you are not alone, okay? There's spiritual presence around you. There's protection, um, guidance. So pay pay attention to any signs or omens that you you notice this month. Yeah, look, there's this emotional healing going on. Connect with your emotions, okay? So come from your heart space this month. And if everything just feels a little bit too much, um, again, if you're waiting, waiting, waiting for this news, um, I want you to go out and enjoy yourself. Okay, this card here is saying bask in joy and light. So I feel like it's not as bad as you may think or it's not as bad as it seems. Just go and enjoy yourself and be playful, go on a new adventure, you know, go outside and soak in some sunshine. Yeah, there is something, there's a sense of you letting go, release the old and rest. So that's that emotional healing. Yeah. There's something about you needing to um, show the way, show someone the way, like be the um, bigger person, um, inspire, because we've got two cards suggesting that. We've got bask in joy and light, and then you've got be the light. So it's about you shining the way, shining the truth about something. And Sagittarius, you are known for your truth. Sometimes you can be quite brutally honest, okay? So it might be, um, you might be called upon this month to expose some kind of truth or bring it to light in some way. Wait, before we do romance, I said I wanted to do the animal oracle. So still general here, and then we'll move on to love, okay? What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the month of June? Okay, here we go, guys. We've got act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it. Okay, that's this card. This might be to do with a career opportunity. Remember, I saw a windfall on the way. So I definitely feel like it could definitely be to do in your money sector. Again, you're not alone. We've got ancestral spirit guides offering you guidance. So pay close attention. Okay, so I'm talking about song lyrics that come up um, on the radio. Um, I'm talking about feathers. I'm talking about signs. Like if you're unsure about what to do in terms of taking a risk, taking up an opportunity that's come your way. There will be signs, you just need to pay attention to them, ask for guidance and you shall receive, okay? Um, just random things that seem to be quite serendipitous. Know that they are signs, okay? Again, this is your need to, to wait on this news. We've got stay in the background and adapt to the situation rather than being conspicuous and attempting to direct the course of events. Okay, so don't push for a result prematurely. Um, don't push for a certain outcome. Don't push for news. Just hang in there and wait um, and listen because we've got take the time to listen compassionately to those that you love, especially family members. Yeah, this is that emotional healing that I can see going on for a lot of you. This period of darkness that you have been experiencing is now passing. So that's good. You are letting go. You are moving on. You are healing. 
there is a need for you to rest this month. Um, whatever that means for you. I, I know that you like to be on the move, Sagittarius. You're not the type of person that likes to coop yourself up inside and watch Netflix or just stay in bed for a day. Um, so, you know, relaxing and um, rejuvenating might just mean um, sun baking outside or um, you can still be outside, you can still be enjoying yourself, but make sure it's downtime, okay? Um, your body is in definite need of some rest. Um, let's move on and see what's going on in your love life. I'm going to do your romance angels. Okay, what's going on for Sagittarius, please, romantically? What's going on for Sagittarius? This is for those who need to hear the messages most. It's probably going to apply for people who are unsure about how the other person feels towards them. It's not really going to be for people in stable long-term relationships or um, people who aren't connected with anyone. Okay, so Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know in their love life, please? Angels and spirit. Here we go. We've got finances and career. So money is definitely a focus for the month of June. Okay. Um, and finance, financial issues are going to be a factor in your love life. All right. Um, so this is your need to enjoy yourself. Get out there and enjoy yourself um, because you will attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. Okay. So I don't want you to be too work focused. For some of you, you are involved with someone and your love life will be ascending to a higher level of commitment in June. So that's exciting. So you're going to be taking it um, to the level of, you know, official relationship. And some of you are going to have travel, which is unsurprising because um, you just revel in travel, Sagittarius. You are the archer. So you've always got your eyes set on the next destination. So let's see um, what the tarot has to say about your love life. We're going we're gonna to pull some cards for your energy first. And then we're going to see what's going on with the person that you're thinking about. Okay, Sagittarius. Now, I'm going to try not to look at this deck because it's, um, it's the vice versa deck. So there's images on both, on both sides. So can we please get Sagittarius' energy first, please? What is their energy in love right now, please? It's hard not to look. Oh, that just wanted to come out and that's you guys that's um, temperance that's your energy Wow you've got the ten of cups and temperance did end up coming out okay interesting is that definite sense that you are waiting on something so for, for many of you it's not going to be in relation to anything other than your love life you are waiting um, on communication on news on um, the other person to let you know how they feel are they on the same page as you do they want commitment okay so the hanged man is here so you are waiting um, and you're coming out as the king of of swords in the reverse so you're unable to make decisions about what to do because you you are waiting it's kind of like i don't know um if i should keep investing in this relationship if i should keep communicating with this person because i don't know where they're coming from i don't know what page they're on i don't know what they're wanting and i feel like some of you do want to rush into solidifying this 
into a commitment because we have the Ten of Cups here next to the Temperance card. So the Temperance card is asking you to just be moderate with your behavior. Just um, don't be too pushy. Don't be too impatient. Um, you will get your happiness and fulfillment, which is the Ten of Cups. You know, your 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 love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment with that engagement card. So just trust that it's going to happen. Um, and in the meantime, I want you to think about self-destructive behaviors. How are you sabotaging this love connection? Because the devil card is here. Um, so this is about fear. So fear is the opposite of love. You, you need to kind of identify what you're doing wrong and uh, and uh, um you can bet your bottom dollar that it's it arises from your fears maybe fears that you haven't even acknowledged yet that you're not even aware or conscious about um so just yeah that the devil is here and it's just a warning to um to be conscious about patterns negative patterns that no longer serve you okay now let's get um the other person who is Sagittarius dealing with, please? Show me clearly. What is their energy? What is their intentions towards Sagittarius? Show me clearly, please. The other person's energy. This deck is pretty hard. I don't know why I picked it out. shuffles okay wow so you could be dealing with another fire sign a Leo Sagittarius or Aries or you could be dealing with a Scorpio we have the king of wands here they're quite passionate there is strong chemistry between you okay that's the king of wands energy um, and he's quite popular and in high demand it could be a woman doesn't have to be um, a male, the king, okay? Um, I'm getting strong fire. Here is the three of wands as well. So I feel like they're waiting. They're waiting to see how the situation unfolds as well um, because the three of wands is all about waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for some kind of outcome, waiting for a result. Again, we have the hanged man. So it's like you're both mirroring each other. Maybe you're both frightened to, to initiate or make the first move. Um, this is kind of like, yeah, there's inaction, there's boredom here because um, we have the, the Four of Cups, which is boredom and dissatisfaction. And sometimes it's a missed opportunity. Sometimes it's um, a, a rejection. So maybe if, if neither of you make the first move, it is going to be a missed opportunity, okay? So maybe Sagittarius, you if you want this, you might need to make a move. Interesting that we have the three of wands and the four of cups because in this deck we see the ship and the three of wands is all about the ship coming in, waiting for your ships to come in. So this is the other person. So um, let's see what they're wanting. Let's see what they're wanting from you, Sag. What is the other person wanting from Sagittarius? Interesting. We've got the star card. So they want a renewal. Maybe um, they want a second chance with you. The star card is about hope and healing. Okay. So if this is someone that, um, you know, you've kind of 
maybe put on hold or put on the back burner or thought maybe they weren't interested in you so um, you know they've got just they're faded in the background they're wanting a second chance yeah they want victory they want a homecoming they want you to come back to them um, with the six of wands okay they definitely want a second chance this is not going to be for everyone Sagittarius so take it or leave it take what resonates with you leave what doesn't Okay, so what's the likely outcome here? Oh, okay. Yeah, look. It's not moving. It's stagnant. We have the um, Knight of Pentacles here, which isn't moving. There's no momentum. There's no progress. And if you don't make a move, this guy is going to head the other way. It is going to be a missed opportunity that's coming in super clear. And... Um, I feel like both of you are coming from a place of fear, you know, fear of rejection, um, which is really sad. I'm just going to pull a uh, simple love advice card. I think I'm about out of time, guys, so I might cut out. If I cut out, I will leave the um, advice in the description box, okay? So don't worry. Yep, I'm about to cut. Don't forget to like, 